Sunak has announced more than a billion pounds worth of support for businesses struggling as a result of the rapid spread of the Omicron COVID variant. Yes, companies in the hospitality sector will be able to apply for grants of up to £6,000. Small businesses will be able to claim back the cost of providing statutory sick pay to employees and there'll be a £30 million top-up to the Cultural Recovery Fund which supports theatres and museums. Kate Nichols from UK Hospitality says it's the help that they've been asking for. We have had unprecedented constructive engagement and dialogue, not only with the Chancellor, but also with ministers across the range of government. And I've been speaking to ministers on on a daily basis and and a number of times with with the Chancellor and Treasury ministers. So we have had unprecedented support from him and from other ministers across government. Well, that's what Kate Nichols from UK Hospitality thinks. Well, let's get some local reaction from this from Alison McGee Barker from AJ Lakes Consultancy. Alison, thanks for joining us. Explain what well, the impact, first of all, has been in Cumbria on hospitality businesses because of the, you know, the spread of the Omicron variant and concern about that. Good afternoon, uh, Adam and Simon. Yes, it's been uh, such a devastation of cancellations, left, right, and centre. And this is because this has come as a welcome relief, uh, a generous gift from the Chancellor there. But it's it taken quite a while because uh, businesses are, are up in the air at the moment and not sure what the next steps are because there is a potential for the COVID restrictions in uh, a meeting that we understand is coming from the government uh, in between Christmas and New Year. And it's a time where all our businesses um, in Cumbria and beyond actually make the serious money ready for the dead months ahead. Uh, but cancellations have been rife and lots of businesses losing tens of thousands of pounds in the process. So, so that said, Alison, uh, a billion pounds to help hospitality, will that be enough? It's a welcome relief. It's, uh, it's, it's a start, but then there's questions of if they have to close due to uh, any cases in the hospitality venues, what happens next? Is the furlough scheme coming back? Uh, and at the moment, that's not been mentioned. Yes, the statutory sick pay has been uh, put forward, uh, but there is there is worry out there in the industry because it's, are we going to be, make enough to be able to cover the winter months? Yes, it is a generous amount. And yes, it's a, it's a great step forward. And it's been something that we've been waiting for uh, since all this started, because Visit Britain al- alone has actually calculated a fall in bookings equated uh, to an estimated initial loss of £498 million in inbound tourism uh, in the first three weeks of Omicron. Oh dear. Well, um, we spoke to a number of hospitality businesses yesterday about their concerns about the impact this is all having. They, they wanted to see something on VAT because I know that's being changed to uh, help businesses throughout the, the COVID crisis. No mention of that, it would seem at the moment. And nothing on business rates. I mean, how disappointed are you that this wasn't put in the, uh, you know, uh, seen by the Chancellor as a way to help people? It it would have helped. However, I do know that we've got to pay all this back at some point uh, in the future. And the 12.5% reduced rate of VAT, uh, yes, it would have been handy to drop to 5%. But in all essence, um, we've we've got to start building our businesses up to actually support ourselves moving forward. This is not going to go away anytime soon. We are now, you know, nearly two years down the, the road with... Uh, the COVID uh, variants and and also the COVID pandemic. And we have got 75% uh, reduction on business rates. So yes, it would have been handy to actually get some increases there. However, there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of fear that's going on. And, And what I would definitely say right now to any hospitality business owner is actually focus on what you can control rather than what you can't control because where your focus goes, energy flows. And if you can uh, help and support your customers by dining at home services or whatever you can do to help and support your customers at the moment because there's a lot of people isolated in Cumbria, me being one of them. Um, and it's tough going. It's tough going if, if you were looking forward 
to a fabulous Christmas and and then suddenly you know you're taken out of um, circulation as such and it would be great if our hospitality businesses can actually try and adapt a little bit like we did in lockdown and I know it's going to be difficult trying to run a business and doing another um, arm to your uh, business uh, you know a, a new revenue stream but it will it will massively help a lot of uh, people out there who currently can't get out bearing what you said in mind just a few moments ago Alison about the fact that uh, you know it's not going to go away it's going to be here for a little while longer how how concerned are you that there could be the other side of Christmas stricter rules put in place and, and what impact would that have on businesses in the county Oh, it's massive. It's massive. But the the scary thing is, Simon, right now is, yes, it could be with us. We've got um, so many now, uh, you know, what, I think it was uh, something like 80, 90 percent of people uh, fully vaccinated, going through boosters and we've still got a problem. So we've got to start taking control of this because we've got to we've got to come up with a very clear strategic plan to be positive. And, and I'm not. I'm not uh, disregarding COVID by any means. I've got it in my house at the moment. Um, one of my family is positive and not very well. But we've got to take control and we've got to really start um, to to actually say to our customers and be COVID safe in our in our businesses because with all due respect, we can still go to supermarkets if, if you're not isolating, obviously. But you can still go to supermarkets. We've got to start looking at our hospitality businesses now and say what can we do what can we keep in control of um, to move this forward because we don't want another lockdown by any means but we all have to create a herd immunity we uh, boris said that if you remember in march 2020 unfortunately we don't seem to be uh, pushing this forward and and this is going we've all got to get it at some point to build an immunity to it Otherwise, we'll be living in fear, and that's not what I want to do by any means, and I don't want my family, friends and businesses who are support to do that either. Alison, good to hear from you. We hope you all get well in your house uh, and have a successful Christmas uh, and enjoy it, what, whatever shape or form it takes. Alison McGee Barker from AJ Lakes Consultancy.